Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I will show you how to get Microsoft Word for free in your Samsung tablets. So guys, the tablet that I'm using is Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, but the method that I will show you will work on all other Samsung tablets. So guys, the first step you have to do is you have to go into Samsung Dex. So just scroll down this panel from here and you see this option of DEX okay just select it and it will take you to the desktop version of your device okay so now the Samsung DEX is open now what you have to do is you have to go to the internet browser from here okay so I open the internet browser and once you open the internet browser you have to open a website name of the website is word.new w o r d word dot new okay so you can see over here this is the name of website word dot new okay and then uh, press enter okay and then it will open uh, the microsoft word in uh, front of you with the uh, blank page so guys you can see over here all your tools all your functions for microsoft word are available over here you can edit it okay uh, you have all the uh, functions like insert layout function all the functions are available over here guys i want to mention one more thing over here so for example if you try to open this website word.new and you see this page in front of you you don't have to worry about just sign in with your microsoft account if you don't have the microsoft account you can create a new one from here by select this create one option okay and here you can put your details and you can use also use your gmail account okay so you can create your account and it is completely free so guys please note that this is the official web-based version of microsoft word okay so let's talk about different uh, features and functions so you can see over here it include all the function and all the features okay over here okay you can see over here as well okay uh, so for example if I want to uh, write something if I type something over here you can see everything is working perfectly fine and then if uh, I go to the insert tab you can insert the tables okay so you can see you can insert the table over here okay and uh, then we have other function like split sales uh, then we have a line okay if I go uh, to the references you can insert the table of contents as well and then we have the layout section you can uh, lay out your page margins orientations so all the functions of Microsoft Word are available so guys you also have the option of dictate tool okay so you can see over here this is a dictate tool if you select it you also have the transcribe option so you can insert your audio file here and it will transcribe into the text okay now whatever work you do it will save automatically into one drive okay so you can see over here it is showing you over here saved to one drive okay and if you want to access your work uh, whatever files you have uh, in your one drive so just go over here these dots just select it and select this one drive okay once you select it it will open a new window like this here you have all your work available and then if you go to the recent it will show you your recent work please note that it is giving you 5 GB of space okay so you can see over here the space available in OneDrive is 5 GB okay now if you want to download a copy of your work so whatever work you do if you want to download a copy into your device you can also do it you have to just go into the file okay just select this file option and then you see this option of save as select the save as option you can see you have different options available you can download a copy you can also download it as a PDF which is really amazing so for example I select uh, it as a download a copy so this is document 18 so I download uh, this one okay and you see it says download a copy I select okay and then it will download into uh, my device and I can easily access it okay so you can see over here one file downloaded now how to uh, access it you can simply go to your my files folder 
so you can see my files over here just go and then you see this downloads option just select it and you see your document is downloaded over here so guys if you want to uh, double check your work if it is save or uh, not save so you can just select this option of saved to one drive just select this arrow and here you can see you can give it any name from here okay give it any name and then uh, just okay so you can see you can give it any name and then press enter and it will be saved into your one drive and guys please note that this is a web based version so you always need an internet connection and it is also really uh, helpful for those who want to make a purchasing decision and they want to test uh, the microsoft word so they can test it and then if they want to buy it they can purchase it later okay so if you go over here okay you can see it is also giving you the buy microsoft 365 option over here if you select it it will open a new window in which it will give you all the details uh, related to buying okay so you can buy it if you want to go to the word dashboard you can also go to the word dashboard just select these dots from here and you see it is written over here word just select it and it will open the dashboard where you have all your work available uh, for you and you can also open a new blank document from here so you can see new blank documents and then we have different style of uh, APA style paper MLA style paper uh, different templates also available over here uh, so it's like your dashboard so for example I open a new blank document if I select it okay it will again open a new uh, a blank document for me from where I can do my work okay so now you can see a new blank page is open in front of you and here you can do all your work so guys if you want to share your work you can also share your work really important so you can see this share option over here if you select it it is giving you two options the first option is share if you select this share option uh, it will open a new window and here you can see uh, you can send a link uh, to any person uh, by putting their name or email address okay and then you can also if you want to give them the editing right you can also give them if you don't uh, want to give them editing right you can just uh, use this option over here okay just enable uh, this option and apply it and then you can send it as view only file so this is really amazing if you go again to the share option you also have the copy link option so you can create a link of your work and then uh, you can send it to anyone so you can see you can copy this link a link will be uh, created so here is your link you can simply copy it and then you can paste it anywhere you can send them to uh, email you can send them to whatsapp whatever platform you want to use uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much